M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one, thought I'd show you the Icom ID52 side-by-side -side with the Yaesu FT5D. So these are the two latest HTs out. Uh, they both do, they're both dual band, VHF, UHF. The FT5 is C4FM Fusion, the ID52 is D-Star. The, the big difference I would say with the 52 is that it can receive two lots of D-Star at the same time and uh, as far as I can see no other radio will do that so you could have a hotspot uh, D-Star on the A band and on the B, B band you could have a repeater D-Star and you would hear them both at the same time now the FT5 where you will hear C4FM on A and B but not at the same time now the big they both have scopes the scope on the 52 I would say is uh, is better but they both have scopes the FT5 has APRS, the 52 has DPRS, and um, they're both very nice looking radios. Now the 52 is a much is quite a, a bit taller radio, heavier radio. The FT5D fits nicely in the palm of your hand. Price wise, I would say that you'll get a lot for your money with the FT5. It's around 400 pound, uh, and I think you get a lot for your money. They've improved the speaker audio. You're getting a good one watt um, out of that. The audio, the speaker audio on the FT on the 52 is very good. Um, the I've used the APRS on the FT3 and that works well. The FT5 has the cam feature, so you can basically monitor up to five channels at one time, and you can create groups to do this. They both have very nifty scopes. Um, sorry, they both have very nifty sort of GPS screens. Uh, the I know that the 52 locks very quickly with GPS. The FT3D is okay. I would say it's average. Both good battery life. I think, from my experience, is the battery life is better on the FT5. But I use the FT3, but it is the same battery. Nice, bright, colourful screens. You can select different colours on the FT5 for the frequency. Red, blue, I think. Uh, probably another one. You've got the or nifty orange buttons on the FT5. Um, you know, the battery in both radios will fit in the previous models of the, say, ID51 and the FT3, FT2. I, I think they're, they're, they're both excellent. If someone said pound for pound, which one should I go for? I'm sorry to say, but I would have to say the Yesu. I think it's a, a neater package, better value. You get a lot for your money. They both do broadcast radio. They both can send photographs. The ID52 has terminal mode uh, and access mode. The FT5 has wires X PDN HR200 mode, and that works very well. And it's and it's free to register in that system. The FT5 to, to get it working, you just bang your call sign in there, and you're on Fusion. Um, and they both have great reception and audio reports. Obviously, I haven't used the FT5. I have used the 52. They both have Bluetooth. They both have SD cards. You're going to get great warranties with these radios. I recommend you always get them from your local dealer in the country you're from. I know I got my 52 from Japan, but I don't actually advise that. So I just think we're in a great time for the hobby. There's um, probably many things I've forgotten to mention about these radios. You know, uh, I'm just trying to think, looking at the uh, the photographs here. But um, have a look at these pamphlets. I'll put a link of each pamphlet in the description. If you like my channel, if you find this helpful, please uh, subscribe and like. And I'll catch you on air. I'm on I'm on air every day, all modes, all bands. I enjoy a rag chew, like a good chat. So enjoy this new equipment. We're really lucky. Uh, Seven three, all the best.